Hello, small groups. This is for the week of December 12th. I hope you all are having a wonderful Advent. This week, we're looking at the song, A Little Town of Bethlehem, and we're reading Matthew. So the sermon was based on Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 6. I'm going to invite you all to read Matthew chapter 1. So Matthew begins with the genealogy of Jesus. Um, it goes all the way back to, um, all the way back to Abraham, actually. So I'm looking at it now. I just, so I admit, sometimes when I read the Bible, I kind of skip over these things because the people are just hard to read. But I invite you this week to really read them and to think about the stories that you have heard in the Bible about each of these, of these wonderful people. Think about all that Jesus' lineage went through from deportations um, and to Babylon and other places, from losing um, a husband like Rah or, um, Ruth. I think about all these powerful stories and how God has been redeeming this lineage for so long. And think about, too, how God has used unlikely people. Remember, God continues to use unlikely people who mess up. Just like King David was not a perfect king, he messed up. So, too, God uses us and our own imperfections to continue to bless the world. We talked about, too, in the sermon about God using unlikely places. So Bethlehem, which is what this, the, we're more talking about, is this small town six miles outside of the seat of power, Jerusalem. And yet God chose for God's son to be born in Bethlehem, not in Jerusalem where the seat of power was. Again, born to really unlikely people, not to people with a lot of money, a lot of social status, but instead to people who were essentially nobodies to the elites. How is God continuing to use us? Most of us are not famous, unless, except in our own homes, right? And so yet God continues to use us, and God wants us to invite Christ in. So how can you invite Christ in this week? What are the ways Christ continues to want to work on you to remind you of those places that maybe you thought you would press down? I know sometimes I realize I'm really good at compacting um, my issues instead of working through them, and sometimes it's like a jack-in-the-box, and they just pop up. And surprise me and I'm like oh nope I have not fully forgiven that person so how can you work on that forgiveness if that's what if you're like me and that's what God's working on you or are there other things that you need to be working on what is God telling you today all right friends I hope you have a wonderful advent and please as always let me know how I can be praying for you and your family